Hey everybody, welcome back. Today we're gonna to be talking about tariffs, oil, a little bit about gold, and one action to take. I wanna put the action to take in the beginning of this video, because it's important. Nobody's looking after your financial future but you. It's very important to think about this and do it. Let me know if you did. It's called a financial stress test. Ray Dalio brought this up a while back and me and Stacy did it, which we do a financial statement every month to kind of see where we're at. And if you want to do that as well, it's a good idea. Assets minus liabilities, see where you're at. See where your money's going. If you're just blowing and going, you, we might be coming up to a period where we need to rein some of that back in and, and see where you're at. How far, financial stress test, how far can you make it without one single paycheck? Moral of the story. Two months, two weeks, two years, whatever. Figure it out. It'll help you. Now, back to tariffs. Tariffs, oil, all that other stuff. So you hear Trump talk about tariffs a lot. And it sounds really good, and if anybody can pull it off, it's Trump. I support him 100%. He's, he seems to be the right person for the job. Uh, a million times better than the other option. Maybe a trillion. <laughs> anyway, these tariffs could possibly make things more expensive. Well, how could that be? Well, you're talking about putting tariffs on imported goods. The United States imports uh, saying a lot would not be using the right vocabulary. A multitude of goods. Probably everything I'm wearing. Jose got me this hat from Mexico. It's imported. We're all wearing, driving, and using imported goods. Fact is, even the things that are made in the United States are made with imported products. To put this into perspective, uh, me and my nephew were talking yesterday evening about businesses and what we could do and what he was thinking and some ideas, what do we need that we have to have. And he said baby diapers. I thought, wow, that's, that's a good point. Uh, so we started looking up United States manufactured baby diapers. There's about, I don't remember, six, five, six, seven uh, companies that manufacture baby diapers in the United States. But all of them had one thing in common. They had imported products in their baby diapers. What is that gonna do for the price of baby diapers? It's gonna make them go up. The flip side of these tariffs in the short term, and I'm not saying it's the right, the wrong thing. I'm saying it's something we should have done a long time ago. And now that we waited so long, it's probably gonna be painful. There has been tariffs on some things already, but the way he's talking about it seems to me like short term pain. Now, when we talk about oil, tariffs on oil, Saudi Arabia, they're already shipping less oil, talking about all the way back to 2021, we're, that, we're lowest since 2021. So Saudi Arabia is already cutting oil supply to us. Uh, these BRICS countries, uh, they make up over 50% of the imported oil supply. Is that gonna make the price of oil go up? Well, Trump's saying drill, baby, drill. And, I, and he, he means it, and I'm pumped. Drill, baby, drill, that's what we should be doing. But understand that that's not a, a switch you can just flip. That switch takes a while. So before you drill, baby, drill, you gotta find the rig, baby, find the rig, and find the crew, baby, find the crew, and find the move the rig, baby, move the rig, and then drill, baby, drill. There's gonna be a painful period between now and drill, baby, drill. All to me seems cheap. There's a good possibility we could be seeing oil prices paying at the pump here pretty quick. Now, I've said this before, I want to say it again. The people that actually run this place, the central bankers, run the world. Tops down approach. I think they're going to dump this on Donald Trump's head 
They've fought him every step of the way. Everything they could possibly do, they've done it. And I think we're due for a recession. We've waited so long now, it'll probably be a depression. If that's the case, they keep it pumped up until Donald Trump is elected, if, if we have a fair system. If not, we'll know. And then they dump it. It is gonna be hard, harder than it was. Because Trump's, I mean, shot him in the ear. <laughs> He's probably pretty hacked off. When he gets in there, there's gonna be some major, major things going on. And I, I think it's all great, but it's important to think about the short-term pain that we're coming up against. So if you have something that you know is imported that you use every day, maybe think about getting an extra one. You know, one is nine, two is one. You know, um, try to think through the oil thing. Uh, what could likely happen with, with the oil, the brick system? The brick system being backed 40% by gold, the BRICS currency. I saw Putin, he had the BRICS note. They had the BRICS meet, meet up and now it's over. Nobody's really talking about it. But I'll never forget, Jerome Powell came out and he said, it's not uncommon for us to have two reserve, for the United States to have, oh no, I'm sorry, for the world to have two reserve currencies. Well, it is in my lifetime, J. Rome. Uh, they know it's coming. The central bankers know, and they're acting like it's no big deal. And it might not be for them, but it will be for a lot of people. <clears throat> if you want to participate in the BRIC system, if you want to de-dollarize a little bit, precious metals is probably a good idea. Uh, it, is at, it is at all time highs, and you guys know me and Stacy. Stacy is a broker for Miles Franklin. I talk about it all the time. Uh, we've been talking about it. Uh, back when it wasn't very popular, when people were giving us a bunch of grief over it, about how it was a scam and all this stuff. You don't hear anything out of those people anymore. It's just silent. Gold's at all time highs. Silver on a percent basis has moved more than gold. People are like, when's silver gonna move? It has, <laughs> it's doing great. Gold's gonna drag it along and I'm really pumped to be right. You know, it's a, it's something that should have happened a long time ago. And I like to make videos on spots in the chart where it's a good buy. And I have not been able to do that lately because we're at all-time highs. There's just no, you know, on gold anyway. When you're at all-time highs, the only thing you can expect it to do is to go higher. So we will have a pullback. I don't know from what price. So that doesn't help you either. <laughs> But in the meantime, send Stacy a text with your email and you can get the price list, the Miles Franklin price list, all of it. It's huge. You, platinum, palladium, uh, gold, silver, all different kind of sizes, bars, physical, delivered to your door. And we usually have the best price uh, and they have a match too. So check that out. Her number is 318-564-5823. 318-564-5823. Shoot her a text, build that relationship, get set up, and then when prices do dip or something happens, you can call her and say, hey, lock me in at this price. And you're done, you know? So guys, prepare. It's fixing to get wild if it's not already. Have an awesome, awesome day. Later.